Hey guys, Thrasher here. Dragon Ball Legends was at the Tokyo Game Show. What did we learn? Before we go any further, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the button down below and let's talk about it right now. Okay, so Legends was on stage in a presentation at the Tokyo Game Show. They talked about it for quite a while. Um, we learned a couple things. We were disappointed by some things. One of the big things that I was hoping we would see is that they would show us some of the future features they're working on with the game. I didn't think they were going to show us actual content. I didn't say, think they were going to say, hey, this event's coming out. Hey, this fight's going to be coming. That's not really the way that these game expos work, but I was hoping that what they would do is give us sort of a sneak preview of where they're heading as far as here's this feature we're working on for this new game type, something of that nature. We didn't get that. What we did get though is they mentioned that the new Broly movie is coming out near the end of this year and there will be an event related to that or some something going on in the game related to that which we had sort of assumed but that does tell us hey we're putting um, considerable resources into this we're up on a stage hyping this up and the big thing about the Tokyo Game Show a lot of people don't realize is a large portion of the advertising expenditure for Dragon Ball Legends went towards the Western Hemisphere of the world. There was money spent in Japan, there was money spent in Asia, but a lot of that money was spent in Europe, was spent in North America. Um, so now they're really starting to hype it up in Japan, which tells us that they're going to continue to spend money on this game because Japan is the big market that they really, really care about um, just because you know they're the ones that spend the most money. And the, the other reason that we know that they're going to keep spending money is because they presented this on stage. That's not cheap to do, and there were lots of other things that they could have presented instead so we know that they're going to be supporting this game heavily there's gonna be lots of stuff coming out in the future now as far as what's happening right now we didn't learn a lot which is the unfortunate part so I'm hoping that we have a lot of new events that are coming out fairly soon um, I, I don't see any real rumblings of anything crazy going on I know a lot of people were still hoping for the Android 16 last week there is still a chance that it comes out this week. We have one more week left until we start getting into the possible next Ultra Space Time banner stuff, which I'm guessing will start showing up later next week. So if we get 16, um, probably Wednesday, they haven't announced uh, any maintenance for it yet, but almost every single Wednesday or Tuesday night we get maintenance, so that's probably on the way. If you guys think I missed anything on the Tokyo Game Show, throw it down in the comments. Let's talk about it, make sure everyone's aware. I don't think I did. A lot of it was just uh, was just hyping the game up for the Japanese market, which is a good thing for us. The more money they spend, the more they want to um, support this game as a whole, and the more that helps us too. And that's it for this video. If you guys like this content, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.